Sophia here for my great challenge. This is day five, I believe day five, of my staycation. It's Saturday. I have no idea if it's the 19th or the 20th. Pff, who cares? Anyway, it's Saturday. It started pretty lazy. All I did today pretty much is uh, put on makeup and shower. I edited and now I'm uploading the video from yesterday. It's still pretty long. We're not going to do the leaves. I'm not going to do the bathroom floor. I'm looking at my list right now. I'm probably going to do the curtain down in the basement. I know we got to um, go out for lunch and then I got to return the shoes I bought for Willie because he told me he was a size 13, so I bought a size 1, which is up from that. And of course, he's a size 2, so I got to go and exchange the shoes. So just tag along because I really don't know what I'm going to do today. I don't feel very motivated. I kind of like, eh, it's the weekend, whatever. But the kitchen needs to be done. Check this out. <laughs> to the supermarket he bought a new loaf of bread because uh since the beagle can't access this anymore or the fridge he went on the counter and got the loaf of bread you bought cranberries that's for uh, the sauce oh is that what it's for oh, okay. what do you buy cranberry for uh, i don't know there's, there's something coming up all right oh, okay that's for the sauce for thanksgiving and he got bananas got some apples and we got more oranges and salsa. Do you want to go out for lunch? Yeah, sure. Where do you want to go? Uh, I don't know, someplace, maybe a sandwich or something, I don't know. Yeah, Panera? Yeah. Maybe, yeah, maybe Panera. Yeah, I can have a salad. Or a diner. Nah, I don't want a diner. We can go have a salad at Panera. Okay, we need to um, stop by Dick's. Um, <laughs> We need to stop by Dick's. 
<laughs> they sell balls there. No, that's not funny. I'm not putting that on. <laughs> Alright, so we need to stop by Dick's to get... Um, balls? No. Willie's shoes replaced. And what else do we need? Oh, and then there's, uh, we need to stop by GameStop because uh, Willie um, needs a game. And just like that, the kitchen got cleaned again. Every day, twice a day, that's all we do is clean this kitchen. Alright, it's done. So we're going out for lunch. And we both agree we're going to go to Panera, so I'm going to take you there. And then we got a little bit of shopping to do, return the shoes. Hopefully, um, I'll get the right pair this time around. And then when I come back, I'll do the curtain for the um, basement. It's not a big deal thing, but I got to cross it out of the list. And here's the list again. All right, leave. Uh, we'll see up tomorrow. This, I said I was going to do it. That I'm doing today. Thank you, course, I'm going to do today. These videos I can do next weekend. I don't have to do them uh, tomorrow. And I still have to switch the mirrors. So overall, I didn't do too bad. I didn't think I was going to be able to go through the entire list. But then again, I took some stuff out <laughs> to next weekend. So, yeah, I mean, you know, it's uh, you do what you can. And then every day I'm editing in the morning, so it's taking a chunk out of the uh the day for me to do the other stuff that i need to do all right so we are on our way and uh, it's starting to feel more and more like a staycation actually we are going to uh, panera and then um what then, then we're going to GameStop because somebody here has earned a game. I can't remember for the life of me how he earned it, but apparently he did. So he's getting a game. And then I want to stop by TJ Maxx to get um, a refill on the soap that I use in the kitchen. And then we have to go to Dick's. Um... <laughs> Obscure comedy. <laughs> nope, not a funny name. Not at all. No. Nope. <laughs> Hey, Mom. There's not enough females in this house. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> then we'll stop nope. at the uh, sports goods store <laughs> to nope. get... Not funny at all. No, nope. not at all. <laughs> no, I didn't ruin it. You Can did. I finish my sentence? You ruined it. <laughs> I want to finish my sentence. Can I? Fine. Then we'll go to the sporting goods store at the mall <laughs> to get... Um, an exchange on Willie's shoes because you told me you were a 13 so I got a size above and it turns out you're a 2. Yeah.
now it's a quarter to six <laughs> now we just got invited for dinner so that's it for today um i'll combine the two videos together just want to show you the soap that i got the one i have right now is this and i bought it at tg max it's a fresh roses lilies and lace soap company okay and the one i got to replace it with is this soap tiles sweet orange hand soap and it was $5.99 at TG Maxx so I really like these soap first first of all I like the decor on them I think they're very really cute for a kitchen and that would be it so I just posted the video from yesterday so you guys are probably watching that already and I will see you tomorrow which is going to be in a few seconds I'm going to combine five and six together because uh, that makes more sense because there was really not much going on today so I'll see you right now Okay, so it's Sunday morning, and guess what? It snowed last night. First snow of the year. Um, it's pretty chilly right now. Two days ago, it was what, 65 degrees? Yesterday, it was warm. I didn't need a coat yesterday. Yeah, we were pretty much like in very light jackets yesterday, and now we're freezing. <laughs> so, yeah, that's Jersey for you. Um, what are we going to do today? You want to go to Barnes & Noble? Not a bad idea. All right, we'll do that, and then we'll probably go to um, the supermarket. Maybe we'll take a ride. Um, I still have to do the mirrors, and I'm going to do the curtain today. And that's about it. And some cleaning, of course. We're back at the house. I'm having breakfast. This is uh, grape nuts with bananas. Um, I really like grape nuts, especially when they just got the milk poured onto them, and they're still very crispy. I'm having my cup of tea. Um, I'll show you this tea cup when I do my swatches and stuff later on and I'm going to look at the new edition of HDTV magazine all the Christmas stuff is out already I'm not ready for Christmas I gotta be honest I gotta get through Thanksgiving first all right I'm back in business I'm gonna do the mirrors um Scott already took them down for me so this is the mirror that used to be in the dining room and that mirror is going to move upstairs by the staircase and then this is the mirror that was in the staircase and that one is going to move right up here so i'm going to start with this mirror all i got to do it's not complicated and it was here before um i just have to remove the um wire and instead of having it on the vertical side of the mirror i got to install it on the horizontal one and that's about it all done so scott is gonna go ahead and put it back on for me because you're tall i'm tall yeah yeah, <laughs> much taller than me. There we go. That's not hard. <laughs> Hold on. Move it back up. Up, up, up. There you go. Yeah, I think you caught it. On one side. Only on one side? Yeah. No, you cut it on both. You did? Yeah, you just got to center it. All right. uh, you're going to move it a little bit more. Hold on. Yeah, I think it's good. That's it? Hold on now. I think it needs to be moved a little bit more like that. Not by much. Nah. Really? What, this way? No, the other way. Yes. That? No? Uh, maybe too much. All right, so it looks better with this piece of furniture. Do you agree? You don't care, right? Uh, if I say no, that means I have to move it, right? <laughs> say yes. Yes, it looks better. Okay. So I'm not too smart. We already established that a long time ago. I should have washed the mirror before I hung it. So now I gotta go on the chair and I'm gonna use my multi-surface um, cleaner because I have no idea where my um, window cleaner is. It's probably in the kids' bathroom. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do the mirror. I think it's gonna look much better overall because it does match. And the mirror I think is slightly smaller, not by much, but slightly. So it's less imposing, and as a result, I can put more decor, like I need more stuff, right, on the, uh, on the mantle, without making the whole room look heavy. Okay. 
adjusting it while we're at it. All right. This right here used to be a lantern that had one of those flameless candles. But the candle itself um, was impossible to open to remove the back and add um, new batteries to it. I did, we just couldn't do it. it. It was just really, really complicated. So we managed to do it one time, but we couldn't close it and the thing started to malfunction. So what I did was um, remove the whole candle itself and I kept the lantern. But in here I have one of those Himalayan salt um, candle holder and I just put a regular candle in it. So I have to remember to turn it off at night. I might get one of those flameless ones, the tiny little tea light candles instead, but I really like the glow that it gives inside the uh, lantern. I actually like it better than the original one. So this is the second mirror, and which is interesting. 653, that's how old it is, uh, 1953. What happened is that this is the top part of a dresser that I found um, on the street. I didn't want the dresser, I just wanted the mirror. And somebody had already, um, I guess, installed this in the back so that you can anchor it to the wall. But the problem here is that these are stripped. I absolutely cannot remove them. So what I'm going to do is go quickly to the local um, hardware store, the mom and pop shop, instead of going to um, the Home Depot. And I'm going to get a new kit. I'm going to remove the wire and then I'll just install the new screws here on the side so I can put it up on the staircase. I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. Mirror has been switched. It's not as tall, but it's wider and it looks much better because both furniture are brown and then the little round um, handle here kind of matches the corners here. It's a much better fit for this uh, place right here, but now I have space on top, so I'm probably going to have to find something to put in there and I'm still thinking about changing the pictures too. I uh, like it much better. So let's go back and see the one in the dining room. And here we go. So I think it's a much better fit overall. It just, it's a little thing to do, but it was long overdue. And I think that it really um, ties in this area much better. Surprise! We decided we were done with chores and we took a ride for about an hour and a half down South New Jersey. We are at the Columbus Farmers Market. It's a flea market slash Amish market. I hope you enjoy it. I've never been there, so it's gonna be pretty cool. The only problem is that we thought it closed at six, but it closes at five, and we technically only have 40 minutes. I have a feeling this is the kind of place where we're gonna find everything under the sun but antiques. So we drove all the way down here and the place is a dump. <laughs> it's all made in China stuff, um, like you see the shoes right there, horrible. And little boutiques but it's all discounted stuff and 
out of stock or overstock, whatever they call it. Oh, there's some Americana here, Wiku Emporium. Let's go in here. So I just checked with the lady from the last store and we just been told that the Amish are closed on Sunday so you're not gonna see any Amish stuff today. <laughs> I feel so bad. drove all the way down here because we really wanted pecan pie <laughs> made by Amish folks and turns out they don't work on Sunday which we kind of knew in the back of our head but never really you know remembered I guess it was just did you like it oh it was a blast <laughs> what a blast. flop I'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> If you use your imagination real hard? It's just like being in Paris. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> So it's uh, 7.34, we're back home. Um, wasted your day? Oh no, it was enlightening. <laughs> it's two hours, we'll never get back. Anyway, we went to Aldi, so I'm um, gonna show you what we got. And then I'll leave it there, and it's gonna be a short video because uh, obviously Saturday and Sunday when there's people around, I don't get anything down around the house. Okay, so we got Fit Active, 100 calorie snack packs. There's two of them actually. Uh, Scott got cereals. We got the um, juice for the kids. More cereals. Didn't I just do a video where I had too much cereal in the uh, pantry? All right, and then we have the stuff that I started buying for Thanksgiving because I am not going to make crazy lines on Tuesday and Wednesday. So I got the potatoes for the mashed potatoes. That's for the celery is for the um, stuffing. I got onions here for the stuffing, carrots for the stuffing. Uh, here's the second pack of Fit Active. That's for me for snacks at work. 
Um, these are Scott's. He likes those. I don't know. Raspberry flavored cranberries covered in chocolate. Sounds horrible. Um, these are pork chops. And I bought the uh, pumpkin pie filling already. So I'm going to do the pumpkin pie. Some more cookies. Like we need those. Um, this is cheddar cheese. The rest is pretty much what I always get at Aldi. I have the Hawaiian bread for Willie, new bananas, grapes, strawberries. These are the asparagus from Aldi that I really, really like. They actually stay pretty fresh, but I've made them a couple of times this week, and you saw me, I put them in the oven. They're really good. These are the waffles for breakfast, and I got another box of grits. I'm on a grits kick lately, I don't know why. Cat food. Uh, more butter that's for um, Thanksgiving prep as well and then two cans of a jumbo flaky uh, what do you call those biscuits probably gonna make one of those tonight okay so that's it that was the five and six I think yeah the five and six of my staycation I'm going back to work tomorrow but it's gonna be a short week I'm only working Monday Tuesday Wednesday and then I'm off again Thursday and Friday and Saturday and Sunday so I'll probably um, do more stuff on Friday and then on Saturday and Sunday I'll do the rest of the videos that I usually do for the end of the month uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this series don't forget to share it I'm almost at 30,000 subscribers share 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 every time you like a video of mine that way I can win the bet I have of the kids who don't believe I can make it to 30,000 by Christmas so don't forget to share my videos talk to you later but guys bye